Please stand and we pray the angelos. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for forth we beseech you, you O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, that, that we do the, the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, your son was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Prayer to Jesus the Good Shepherd. O Jesus, Good Shepherd, see us gather from near and far, Proclaiming you are our master, our shepherd. You call and lead us to fruitful paths of peace and contentment. In you, Jesus, is with labor and joyful rest. Never have you abandoned us with Jesus. Never have you failed us. Through dark nights and difficult moments, you carry us. There is no fear when you are near. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Without you, who can survive? O loving Son, as the Father has entrusted all of us to you, we live up to you in particular, His Holiness, Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, religious, lay leaders, family heads, and all those who have flocked under their care, that they may be shepherd them after your own heart. Bring back quickly to the fall those who are lost. Send the Spirit to make a symbol, make an obedient, that you may be pleased to grant our every plea, especially this one. O Good Shepherd, you are our only hope, only you can make us one. Only you can renew our land, only you can lead us safely to our true home, where at last we shall see and adore you face to face forever. Amen. Please be seated.
We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is the feast day of St. Matthew, Apostle and uh, Evangelist. Now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. A glory to God, God in, in the, the highest. highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We gave you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in, the follow in following you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit. As you are also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full, of stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. 
Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word, nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard through all the earth. Their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While well, he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw these and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? We heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang magandang umaga, mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, at ngayon po ang nasa Facebook Live. Alam ko po, nandyan kayo ngayon, naghahanda ng inyong uh, almusal. At the same time, pinagandaan po ngayon at nakaupo ka ngayon, ngayon sa dasal. Napakaganda po ang ginagawa ninyo. Ang nasa YouTube din po ngayon na nagdarasal at uh, kasama ang banal na misa. Magandang umaga po sa inyo at napakaganda po. Inuna po ninyo ang salita ng Diyos. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, ito po ang katotohanan ng buhay natin. May mga bagay na akala natin yung mga maling nangyari sa buhay natin ay isang daan ng pagkababa ng moral ng buhay natin at daan na kung saan naging bigo tayo sa buhay. May pagkakataon po na iniisip natin, kaya po nagkakaroon tayo ng low self-esteem. Kasi nga, yung mga nangyaring masama, kasalanan, mga kapalpakan natin sa buhay, na parating iniisip natin hanggang ngayon, nagdadala sa atin ng depression. But this time, my dear brothers and sisters, a call for us, we Catholics, may mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na sa akala natin mali at kasalanan pero mayroon palang kahulugan nito tandaan po natin to. Kung makikita po natin ang mga basura may pera sa basura para sa atin din po katuliko isang minsahi para sa atin ngayon sa ating kahinaan at pagkamakasalanan, may uras, may biyayang nagbibigay sa atin at daan ng ating pagbabago sa buhay. Kaya po ngayon, sa nakikinig ngayon sa Facebook na ito, kung mayroon kayong dinaramdam ngayon, yung bang ilang months na tayo na nasa bahay, na quarantine po tayo at 
ang isip natin gulo-gulo na. Alam ko po ngayon, baka nadidepress na sa sitwasyon sa pangyayari. Alam ko po dahil nandun lang tayo sa bahay, marami tayong iniisip at nababalikan po natin yung mga maling nangyari at hindi mang nangyari. Pangit na nangyari ng buha, sa buhay natin. Isang paalaala ngayon, huwag kayong magluksa. Huwag kayong magalit sa sarili ninyo. Huwag kayong magtampo sa pangyayari sa buhay niyo. Huwag kayong, huwag niyong sabihin na katapusan at wala nang saysay ang mundo ninyo. Isang paalaala ngayon sa bawat isa sa atin at lalo na po sa nakikinig. Buhayin natin ang sarili natin dahil nandito si Kristo sa atin. Totoo po ang pangyayaring ito sa atin. Bilang isang katoliko, tandaan po natin, tayo din po ay nagkakasala. We commit mistakes not because that it is our will, but simply we are human. Mahina tayo. Kung tayo ay perfecto, hindi tayo nagkakasala, di hindi magpapakita sa atin ang Panginoong Iso Kristo, hindi siya mabubuhay sa mundong ito at hindi siya may sisilang. Kasi alam naman niya na walang masama sa atin. Dahil alam ng Diyos na mahina tayo. Kaya kailangan natin ng gabay. Kaya ngayon, huwag kayong mag-alala sa mga pangyayari ng buhay natin. Tingnan natin sa positibo ng pagtingin sa buhay natin. Dahil may mga karanasan tayo na akala po natin ay mali. Oo, totoong mali. Pero kung titing natin sa malalim na pagtingin ng ating buhay, sometimes there is a purpose in it. May kahulugan. Ang iyong nakaraan ay hindi daan ito ng kamalasan ng buhay mo. Sinabi ko ito sa inyo ngayon dahil may oras. Sino yung mga gagaling mag-counsel? Yung mga taong naka-experience ng pangyayari sa buhay na masakit sa kanila. Pero gumawa sila ng paraan para mabuhay. Kaya marunong sila magtanaw, tumulong sa kapwa, mag-isip kung ano ang tunay. Sino yung mga taong nag-excel ngayon sa buhay? Yung mga taong maraming paraan, maraming sitwasyon na nadapa na sa buhay. Sino mga taong iba ngayon matatag? Hindi big sabihin dahil madasalin sila. Naging madasalin sila dahil dumaan sila sa sitwasyon sa buhay na akala nila mag-give up pala. Pero dahil lumaban sila sa buhay nila. Ngayon, unti-unti silang bumabangon. Kaya ngayon, balikan mo yung karanasan mo at muli harapin nito. At tingnan na yan ay hindi daan na hindi ka mahal ng Diyos. Marahil yan ang pintuan ng pagbabago at pagtingin ng bagong sitwasyon ng buhay mo. Wow, napakagandang ito. Alam niyo po, sinabi ko sa inyo it, ngayon, dahil ngayon ay kapiestahan ni St. Matthew. And for all you know, he's a tax collector. And in our gospel today, we see him sitting down, counting money. Kaya pumunta ang Panginoon. Akalain. Sa kanyang pagiging magnanakaw, sabihin na lang natin, Tinatawag silang magnanakaw noon ang mga tax collectors ng mga Hudyo. Tinawag sila ng Diyos. Tingnan mo si St. Matthew na kaya pang puntahan ng Panginoong Isokristo ang kanyang bahay at napakaganda dito. Pinagtatawanan siya ng kanyang mga kapwang makasalan at sabi, O bakit ka nandito ang Kristo Yesus na kinikilala ninyo? sa mga makasalanan at napakaganda ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, I desire a mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Si Matthew, sa araw ngayon, ay hindi sa daan makita natin ang kasalanan niya at pangyayari ng buhay niya. 
Tinitingnan natin ngayon at binabalikan ang buhay niya dahil napakabait ng Diyos sa kanya. Nahanda ang Diyos magpatawad sa mga taong gustong magbago at itayo at ituwid ang buhay. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, sa araw na ito, muli, alam ko ang iba sa ating naghahanda na sa trabaho natin. Paglabas natin at pagpa- pagpasok natin sa ating trabaho, huwag tingnan ang iyong pangyayari sa buhay. Tingnan mo na may pag-asa pa rin sa bawat araw na mayroon ka. Ginising ka ngayon ng Panginoon ngayong araw na ito. Hindi tingnan ang iyong mga kamalian sa buhay, kundi lumaban pa, ayusin pa, sapagkat sa tamang panahon, hahanapin ka ng Diyos at nandyan sa sa iyo, tutulungan ka niya para bumangon sa buhay. Kasi gusto niya masaya ka sa araw-araw na buhay mo. Muli po, huwag tingnan ang kasalanan na masama para sa iyo. Kung nagkasala ka man at may nangyari sa buhay mo, muli nandito ang Diyos para tulungan kang bumangon at muli harapin ang tunay na pag-asa at biyaya at hamon ng buhay. Never give up like St. Matthew. Sa ngala ng Ama, Anak, at Spiritus Santo. Amen. Amen. St. Matthew's life was changed by the call and challenge of the Master. May our prayers express a conversion of life which makes us sensitive to the needs of others. In every petition we say, God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That programs of renewal may mark our Catholic life. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That we may accept the challenge and call to conversion rather than give in to the invitations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us that those involved in financial matters may not sacrifice their souls for wealth and power let us pray to the lord god of forgiveness be gracious to us that the spiritually infirm may seek help in the sacrament of healing let us pray to the lord god of forgiveness be gracious to us that the dead may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. Let us include our prayers and intentions to these following of persons. Jocelyn Salcedo on her birthday today. Annabel Lee, Marlene Glomo, Erma Ilardo, Rowena Young, Dolor Arevalo, Lea Salona, Maria Teresa Presa, Isles Family, Celia and Boy Tan, Susano Family, Cheryl Magdulis, Dulce Palma, Jane Francisco, Grace Villavisa, and uh, Matt Francisco. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints. And in crowning the merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us. And with them, the imperishable crown of glory, through Christ our Lord, and so with angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered us into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have uh, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with all the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him and with Him and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my robe, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All kneel and let us pray the Ratio Imperata. Please kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those affected. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our prayers. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Raphael, Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rap, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calonsod, pray for us. Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as the guest in his home, we pray, grant that we may always be received by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.